Okay, my 2000 Tundra V6. See, I got a little bit of radiator leak here going on. Here's my crack from here to here. It's probably about four inches or so. I'm going to break out the JV weld and uh, we'll see what we can do. Sorry, it's a little windy today. So anyway, um, I'm going to clean this off first. And it looks like this radiator top is plastic. I want to make sure that's nice and clean. And I can expose that crack. And then we'll dry it. And then we'll see what that looks like. And then I'll rough it up with some sandpaper. a lot better now. It goes from here to here. So it's a pretty long crack. It's over six inches. Um, I'm going to use the wire brush on it. It's okay. I'm going to take some uh, 180 sandpaper to that and mean that that's plastic. And then I'm going to wipe it off with some uh, alcohol and make sure it's, you know, evaporates off and it's nice and clean. Now I did order a new radiator to replace this. This is only a temporary fix. It would be kind of foolish to, to do this with a radiator as a full time deal. But it's gonna take about a week or so to get it from Amazon. They don't ship this one Amazon Prime, unfortunately. So this is just a temporary deal. I did loosen the sides of the radiator. I'm move the camera here. I loosened up the, or took out the top bolts and loosened up the bottom bolts to give me some play because this is right here in the middle. And then on the other side of the radiator, I jammed a wedge in there so it can push, push this back. So anyway, that's how, so I can get to that crack but it will be a simple fix so back back on my table saw workbench I'm using the JB weld um, it's if you've never used it before it's just 50 uh, mix it half and half 50% each not a real perfect science stuff Just give it a good squeeze. And I use these salsa cups whenever I go to a restaurant and you help yourself to some salsa. I just grab a little more, grab a few extra cups to have on hand. Make sure you pierce that top the, all the way. Squeeze this stuff out. This is the quick setting stuff. So you gotta work it real quick. Well, it's really cold, so it's not coming out super fast. Make a bigger hole there. Okay, got equal amounts in there. Now you got to work it pretty quick. I should have warmed this up, soaked those two tubes in water because they're really, really uh, solid. So it's going to make this hard to mix and then apply it before it sets up, goes off on me. So just make that a nice, even, consistent consistency of gray even this uh, plastic knife is really flexing the black is the steel and the the, the light color was a was the hardener 
But anyway, you can find that at any uh, home center, Home Depot or Lowe's. And it's like five or six bucks, whatever it is. But it's always great stuff to have on hand. You never know when you need it. All right, let's put that on and we'll check it out. So as you can see, I already got it taped up. And you can see the size that I'm going to patch. I'm just going to apply that liberally. And it looks like just for dumb luck, it's going to come out the same color as the radiator. That really wasn't a plan. Being that that radiator is just plastic. Like I said, this is just a temporary fix. Make sure it's evenly covered all the way across. set for 24 hours we'll let that set for 24 hours and we'll see how it, what it does okay so my radiator finally came in and then I'm gonna have my mechanic put this in for me tomorrow okay so I took this for a small drive and you can see my temperature gauge is in the middle so we'll just see what the engine looks like see if we've lost any uh, water in the radiator well this is the front of the radiator and you can see it did lose some so that crack did not hold like my friend said the plastic from the radiator will expand the JB well doesn't and it loses breaks the seal so I would not suggest doing this.